So I started my morning with a super delicious breakfast. I had a green smoothie with lots of fruits and veggies, but also a fantastic gluten-free seed cracker made of buckwheat. I topped this with some mashed avocado, cucumber and salt. Then I also had a golden milk with oat milk. It was so good and I really love golden milk and warm drinks, especially in the morning. And I will add the food recipe on this seed cracker if you want to try it in the description, which I really recommend. It's really crispy and full of healthy fats. So for lunch I'm actually going to make a potato and beetroot bowl with a lot of veggies and also some green peas. I will also make a delicious dressing made of silken tofu. So I hope that you will like this one. So I started with turning on the oven and prepared some lovely beetroots and potatoes. I chopped the potatoes in slices and then put them on a baking tray with parchment paper and some salt on the top. And then I baked them in the oven for about 20 minutes in 220 Celsius degrees until they are golden. Then I also cooked the beetroots for about 20 minutes until soft. Then it was time to prepare the dressing, so I started to chop some fresh parsley and put in a blender. Then I also added some silken tofu, some lemon juice, tamari, nutritional yeast, almond milk and lots of spices. Then it's time to blend it all up to a creamy delicious sauce. This one can be made with your favorite herbs and I also love to make this one with basil. I also wanted some green peas to this bowl so I just quick cooked them in a frying pan with some water and salt. And of course I want some greens in this bowl so I chopped up some green kale and also some cucumber. To make the kale softer, I added some apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper and then massaged it. If you want, you can also add some olive oil. So, here we have the beautiful green kale bowl. When the potatoes, beetroots and green peas are ready, it's time for serving. So add the green kale and the cucumber, the potatoes, beetroots, green peas in a big bowl and then add a wonderful dressing on the top. I also added some toasted pumpkin seeds for some extra crunch and iron. This is a perfect lunch bowl according to me, filled with veggies that makes me feel so good. In the afternoon I prepared a quick snack, some oats, plant milk, cacao powder, granola with some mango and raisins. Just improvising but it was really really good. I also had a piece of seed cracker again. For dinner I really wanted to make something easy and I was longing for pasta so I decided to go for a pasta with bell pepper and lentils. I started to chop up one red onion and fried it in some olive oil. I then chopped up some red bell pepper and added it into the pan. I stirred around and added some salt and black pepper. Then I added one minced garlic clove and is there anyone else who just loves the smell of fried garlic? It's so good. I also added some cooked and rinsed green lentils. I always, always choose buckwheat pasta, it's my favorite, but pick the one you like the most. 
Meanwhile, all the veggies are cooking in the pan, I prepared a very simple tahini sauce. I just added white tahini, lemon juice, nutritional yeast, salt, pepper and garlic powder, and then some water to thin. Add just a little water at a time, so you get the consistency you prefer. So the last but not least thing I did was to add some fresh basil in the pan, and also some extra nutritional yeast. And then dinner was ready. I really love simple pasta dishes so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so very happy for all your kind comments. It really means a lot to me. So thank you. Take care and I hope to see you in the next video.